Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to read and write to a file. And for that, we're going to be using the F stream or file stream. So similar to how we use IO stream for CN and C out, we need to use the F stream for file handling. So we have F stream, which includes reading, writing, and appending, and OF stream, which is write only, and IF stream, which is read only. So output file stream and input file stream. So let's start with writing to a file. So this is outputting to a file. So I'm going to do F stream and I'm going to call this variable my file and we have a stream. Now let's open a file. So I'm going to do my file dot open and here I'm going to put the file name. So currently in my folder, I don't have any other files except the C++ file. So if I put a file name that does not exist, it's going to create that file. So over here, I'm going to do open and I'm going to call it sample.txt. So remember, you need to put the extension. So txt is the text file extension. And every time you open a file, you need to close the file so that you can free up the memory. So here I'm going to do my file not close. Now over here, I'm going to write to the file. And before I do so, I need to check to see that we opened the file successfully. So here I'm going to do if my file dot is open my file and since this is a stream similar to C out we're going to use the same syntax so the double angle brackets to the left so it's almost like outputting to the console except you are outputting to the file so here I'm going to output to the file hello world and you can do slash n like so for a new line or you can do n line now, one thing to note here is that for the F stream, it is part of the namespace STD. So if we were not using namespace STD, just like with CN and C out, you would have to do STD colon colon. So you would need to add the qualifiers. But since this is a beginner tutorial series, I'm not going to add the qualifiers. All right, so let's save and run a program. All right, so we ran our program. Now let's check our folder. And you can see we have nothing. We just have the executable file from our C++ code, but we don't have any file created. And that is because when we're opening the file like this, we need to add the mode. So there's three modes, read, write, and append. So here I want to write. So I'm going to add iOS colon colon out. So this is the write mode. And of course, if you are not using namespace STD, you will need to add the qualifiers. So it would be like STD colon colon iOS colon colon out. All right, let's save and run the program. Okay, so we run the program. Now let's check our folder. And here you can see we have our text file. This is sample.txt. I can double click on it to open it with the Notepad app. And you can see it says hello world. And if you're using VS Code like I am, you can also open up the text file by clicking over here. And we have the text file over here. And you can see it says hello world. Now, when you're writing to a file, you need to be very careful. If the file name already exists, for example, sample.txt, you can see we have the file over here. If this already exists, and let's say I'm going to write, I'm going to change this to Kenny Yip coding, and I save and run the program, and I check my folder, you can see the file is still here, but if I open it now, hello world is no longer in this text file. Instead, we've completely replaced the content with Kenny Yip coding. So let's change this back to hello world. And if I save and run the program, and I check again, you can see it replaced the contents with hello world. Now, if I want to update the file, instead of completely overwriting it, I would change the mode to append, so app. And over here, I would replace this. So instead of hello world, I'm going to do Kenny Yip coding. So a lot of times you want to append to the file instead of just writing to the file. So you don't want to replace the contents. So if I save and run the program, and let's check our file, you can see we've written Kenyip coding on the second line. So we've added another line. And if I save and run the program again, and let's check again, you can see we've appended another line, Kenyip coding, okay? So if you're writing a new file, you would use the out mode. But if you're appending to an existing file, then you would use the app mode, okay? Now let's say I'm just writing to a new file. So I'm going to change this to out. And over here, I'm going to change this back to hello world. So this is what we had before. Basically, we're writing to a file and we're calling open. But actually, what I can do is I can put this 
in the constructor. So when we create the my file variable, we can pass in the parameters directly. So we don't have to call open. So I'm going to save and run the program. And just to show you it works, I'm going to right click and delete this file. All right, so the text file is no longer here. Now let's save and run the program. So now let's check the file. And now you can see we have the file and I can open it. And it says, hello world. Now, if we're only going to write to a file, we don't have to use the F stream. Instead, we can use the OF stream. So over here, I can add OF stream. And in that case, I don't need to pass in the mode since it is out. So I can just simply pass in the file name. So over here, let's delete the file again. All right, so the sample text file has been deleted. Now let's save and run the program. All right, now let's check our folder. And you can see we have the sample text file. And if I open it, we get hello world. All right, so that's how you can write to a file and append to a file. So you can use the F stream with the mode, or you can just simply use OF stream, okay? Now let's talk about reading into a file. So let's say you already have an existing file. So over here, I'm going to change this back to F stream. And here I'm going to pass in the mode iOS in. So this is going to be for reading to a file. Now, if I save and run the program, let's see what happens. The program runs successfully. And if I check the file, you can see the files here. And if I delete the file, the file is gone. And let's save and run the program again. You can see the program runs successfully. And let's check the folder. You can see the file is no longer here. So basically, you cannot write to a file if you are specifying the in mode when using F stream. Now, if I remove this, and here, instead of F stream, I use IF stream for input file stream, you can see we'll get an error. And that is because we are trying to use the IF stream to write to a file, which we cannot because the IF stream is for read only. So if you're strictly reading or writing to a file, it is better to use OF stream and IF stream. So over here, I'm going to change it to OF stream just so we can write the file again because we currently don't have the file. So I'm going to save and run the program. All right, let's check the folder and we have the file over here, okay? All right, let's change this back to IF stream. So we are trying to read from the file. So I'm going to remove this line. And over here, I'm going to use a while loop. So first, I'm going to create a variable that is a string. And I'll just call it line. And I'm going to create an int line number and just assign this to one. So here, I'm going to use a while loop to iterate through the file to read the file. So I'm going to use while my file and just like with the C in syntax, I can do this and assign it to line. So this is basically saying while we can get the input from the file, this while loop is going to continue. And if so, I'm going to see out line number line. And the file that we're trying to read has two words in one line. So hello world. So let's save and run the program. And you can see it says one.hello, one.world. Actually, I forgot to change the number. So over here, I'm going to increment the line number. So let's save and run the program again. And you can see it says one, hello, two, world, which is strange because we have one line. So why is it printing these two separate words on two separate lines? Well, the answer has to do with how we are reading from the file. So if you remember my video on getting user input where we talk about CN, basically when you add a space that tells CN that this is the end of the input, the same applies for reading from the file like this. Basically, it's going to read hello and then space. This indicates the end for this input. And then it's going to read world as the second input. And if I modify this and I add Kenny Yip coding and I save it and I run the program again, let's see what happens. You can see we get five lines. Hello world, Kenny Yip coding. And that is because of the spaces. Now, if you remember from my video on getting user input, we have a solution for this. So if you want to get the entire line, you will use the get line function. So instead of this, I'm going to do get line. And remember how we passed in C in over here, I'm going to pass in my file. And I'm going to pass in the input to our string variable line. So now if I save and run the program, you can see we get one, hello world, and two, can you coding, which matches our file. Okay, so that's how you can read from a file. Basically, you would use the angle brackets if you want to separate the input by spaces, or if you want to do line by line, you use the get line function, okay? All right, so that's how you can read and write to a text file.
And in the next video, we're going to go over a simple problem where you would use the F stream to read the contents of a file. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you give this video a like. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And as always, if you want to stay up to date for more C++ tutorials like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.